Do you feel that taking from the rich and giving to the poor is the solution to rising wealth inequality? Assume we followed this instruction. We agree to split the world's wealth equally among the world's 7 billion inhabitants. Everyone receives approximately $32,500. Is that the end of poverty? Welcome to Good Lux, a channel dedicated to inspiring you to extend your horizons, achieve general life breakthroughs, and discover what personal achievement may bring us. The goal of this video is to study the things that the poor do and the rich do not. Things that we should deliberately avoid if we want to be wealthy. Let's look at what impoverished people do that the rich people do not. Welcome aboard if you are new here. Do you want to get wiser? Consider subscribing to this channel to keep discovering new chances to see more videos like this one. Let's get started. Poor folks watch television. Rich individuals go for a walk. When a poor person wants to relax, they curl up on the couch and watch Netflix. They might also play video games. Or they look at social media. They drop into the nearest comfortable seat and allow themselves to be stimulated by an electronic device. The wealthy do not. When successful people want to relax, they go for a stroll. They may also listen to soothing music and write in their journal. They choose a psychologically restorative activity rather than one that is simply distracting. Take some time to rest as the wealthy do. Take a hot bath, read a book you like, take a stroll, get some physical activity, do something beneficial to your health rather than something merely diverting. Poor people wake up whenever they want. Morning habits are common among the wealthy. When poor individuals awaken in the morning, they do whatever comes to mind. Usually they check their phone. Then, after half an hour to an hour of scrolling on their phone, they stumble out of bed to potentially eat, possibly watch TV, or possibly text somebody. This is not something that wealthy people do. They recognize that if you plan your morning correctly, you can accomplish more in two hours than most people can in 24. As a result, they have a morning routine. It makes no difference what routine you use. Everyone's situation is unique. Many wealthy people go to the gym at 5 a.m., while others go for a morning walk at 10 a.m. Their morning routines all have one thing in common. They use their natural rhythms to set them up for success. Decide what you're going to do for the first hour of your day to do what affluent people do. Will you be checking your phone? Take a stroll, make some tea and have some breakfast. Do you keep a journal? Whatever you decide is okay, as long as you follow through. Poor individuals think in terms of working hours. Rich people think in terms of the value they create. When you ask a poor person how productive they were today, they will respond in terms of hours worked. I worked for seven hours today at work. I worked on this assignment for three hours. I spent about two hours today cleaning the house. When you ask a wealthy person if they were productive today, they will respond in terms of value added. I delivered a finished product today. I cleaned the whole house. This is because impoverished people are paid in terms of hours worked, whereas rich people are compensated in terms of value added. Poor people are given hourly work. Rich folks are paid. The wealthiest individuals receive stock and are then compensated based on the success or failure of a company enterprise. The more money you make, the less important your working hours become. Stop thinking in terms of hours worked if you want to do what wealthy people do. Begin evaluating your productivity depending on how much you accomplish. You'll start getting more done per hour when your priorities shift. Poor people see their bodies as a source of distraction. Rich people consider their bodies to be a tool. Poor people see their bodies as an afterthought for the rest of their lives. They eat fast food because it is inexpensive and convenient. They're attempting to resume their work. They also do not work out since it takes too long. They believe that their time would be better spent elsewhere. Rich people understand that their bodies are the most valuable asset. If their body isn't functioning properly, the rest of their lives will suffer as a result. Instead of considering their bodies as an afterthought, wealthy people prioritize them. They prepare and consume nutritious foods. They go to the gym regularly and even on busy days when there appears to be no time. Treat your body as a priority, not an afterthought, as rich people do. Attend the gym a couple times every week. Use an exercise app to do calisthenics in home. Take a walk, consume something green, eat something you made from scratch rather than anything frozen or from a fast food restaurant. Poor folks cram the day before their assignments are due. Every day, wealthy people put in just a little effort. 
poor individuals reactively approach employment. They cram all they have to complete before the deadline. They study for a test till the last minute and give work items to their boss on the day their boss expects them, no sooner. They are constantly reacting to the deadlines imposed by life. Rich people do not respond to their surroundings, rather they govern them. When kids have a project due the following week, they work on it a bit every day. When they need to study for an exam, they start studying as soon as they learn about it. When their supervisor requests a work product, they produce it on time. Fundamentally, poor people believe that success is the product of extraordinary work. But affluent individuals understand that success is the consequence of constant effort, day after day. Instead, begin to be consistent, choose a little commitment and stick to it day after day. Spend 30 minutes practicing Spanish. Create one little picture. Write one brief article. Practicing Spanish for 30 minutes every day will teach you far more Spanish than studying for 6 hours in one day. Poor people have no control over their finances. The wealthy do. Poor people do not have control over their finances. They don't have a money system that shows them where and when all of their money is going. When they have a sense of how much money they spend and where they spend it, they are only guessing and responding. Rich people have complete control over their finances. They have a digital or analog dashboard where they can see where all of their money is at any given time. When they get paid, they put their money into savings and spending accounts right away. They pay their bills far in advance of the due date. Rich people are not always wealthy due to good fortune or circumstances. They became wealthy because while they were impoverished, they controlled where their money went rather than allowing life to dictate their terms. Terms. Find out where all of your money is going, to do like rich individuals do. Determine how much money you spend each month. Determine exactly what you spent it on. Decide whether you want to continue spending your money in this manner or make some changes, then adhere to them. This video concludes here. We appreciate your patience. Do you have any suggestions for this list? Do you agree or disagree with these points? Please respond to the video in the comments area down below. Failure to distinguish yourself from the herd is frequently the reason why most individuals never attain success, and you must decide to be different before you can make any lasting changes. You may not intend to hold yourself back, but the chances are that your habits determine your success. If you find that you identify with one or more of the patterns on this page, you may need to adjust your mind before you see any lasting progress. That's alright, you're not alone. You can begin by dissecting these patterns and working your way backwards. Once you realize there is an issue, the answer will come swiftly. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, so that this channel can develop and encourage others. Also, enable the notification bell to avoid missing out on future personal development stuff like this. We'll see you in the next video.